It's the most preventable crime there is. That is Paul Richwalski, who prosecuted the case against Larry Mahoney, the man who 31 years ago today was driving drunk and slammed his truck into a Radcliffe church bus, killing 27 people in Carroll County, Kentucky. Larry Mahoney served his sentence, and he still lives in Owen County, Kentucky. The crash was on this date, a Saturday night in 1988. The bus was on its way back from Kings Island. Carrollton prompted changes in state laws, making school buses safer and increasing the criminal penalties for DUI offenders. Robert Bradfield spoke to Richwalski today to discuss some of those changes and those he hopes to still see. It is still considered the deadliest drunk driving crash in U.S. history. 27 people killed, including 24 children, 31 years ago in Carroll County, Kentucky. There had never been a case like this before or since. Paul Richwalski uh, prosecuted the is. case against Larry Mahoney, who was drunk, driving the wrong way on I-71 when he slammed into the Radcliffe Church bus, carrying 67 people, heading home from a trip to Kings Island. Think about him a lot. Think about him a lot. Since the crash, Rijwalski says the state made strides in toughening DUI laws, including looking back 10 years into the criminal history of repeat DUI offenders. Mahoney had a previous DUI, but Rijwalski could not use that against him during trial. There was no look back period at that point in time, which uh, obviously would have aided in getting that information before the jury. Since 1988, the legally impaired blood alcohol level decreased from 0.15 to 0.08. Kentucky now also requires some DUI offenders to install an ignition interlock system where drivers must prove they are not drunk before starting their vehicle. And he says the biggest change came not by changing laws. I think the major change that I have seen in 31 years, and I think what started with this particular particular case was uh, public perception and attitudes. Kentucky does not have a vehicular homicide charge, and that's something Rijwalski has sought to change. The hope is to have enhanced penalties for driving-related crashes that result in a death. We tried several legislators, uh, legislative sessions to get a vehicular homicide law passed that specifically addressed that, and uh, our legislature wouldn't do it. Now, Larry Mahoney was convicted of 27 counts of second-degree manslaughter and served more than 10 years in prison. He was released in 1999 and has never spoken publicly about the crash. However, family members of the victims told me last year they would be willing to sit down and talk with him. Robert Bradfield, 11 at 11.